Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off The Press community, where we analyze the current pulse, trends, and forecasts of the Yu-Gi-Oh! markets. We're here to feed uh, the endless, eternal Yu-Gi-Oh! cardboard market watch addiction, guys. You guys already know. Welcome in to all the new people. You know, thank you so much for joining into the community. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help out the channel. Today's video, finally finally we get to review you know battles of legend monstrous revenge guys on the channel a lot of you have been requesting this video and now today we're gonna dig in with a full-blown episode you know i'm gonna i'm gonna provide my thoughts you know go through the cards things that i believe are gonna be great investments and things of that nature so let's dig in guys immediately we start off with the set review wow a lot of great qcsrs these cards look beautiful. They just do. You have competitive cards like Lupelion with a reprint. This alternate art engage. Wow. I love the alternate artwork, guys. It, it just looks beautiful. A lot of people wanted the alternate art on IP as well. I don't know why Konami didn't do that. But, I mean, IP is still IP and it looks lovely, man. A lot of people that want to get their hands on, you know, um, the Starlight per se. And they haven't been able to. You know they're gonna come and try and get this cheaper version per se we're still not a starlight obviously but it's the budget starlights per se you know qcsrs um then you have zeus great great one as well it does have the original starlight that looks beautiful man honestly um and then you have lady labyrinth as well you know of the silver castle for labyrinths assault synchron you know with the synchro support coming out in dune great card arm neils man a hero qcsr wow it's lovely to see this and the dark magician the knight of dragon magic as well just a dm card you know an icon an iconic card <clears throat> excuse me it's nice to see all these qcsrs more for labyrinth you have some uh, you know a foxy tune as well right of aramis here as we knew you know that looks nice terraforming wow what a staple is nice to see that qcsr as well dark hole wow what an iconic card it also gets one you have dante dad dark arm dragon for edison that's nice tiramis or tiramis man i really like this madalche card madalche queen here um it looks nice at around 50s man might be a good long-term hold then you have ptolemaeus number 92 wow i like this reprint we're gonna be discussing this one later on in the video quick fix i have no idea why they're you know giving this hard support to this card might be a sign might be a sign that they're gonna release spiral soon so you know stay tuned for that water enchantress of the uh, water enchantress of the temple a uh, volcanic shell danger nessie man i really like these cards man qcsrs great selections here you know and uh let's see which one else here if you know tcg player feels like providing that information as we see the last one x tox x tox man hydra how do you man at 30 billies for a qcsr it looks beautiful and then we move to the rest of the set where you have a bunch of great secret rare reprints that we're going to be discussing and then towards the latter part you obviously have the ultras and uh things of that nature so i, I really like the set of course the ultras are really more of fillers um as we're going to be discussing you know in the video a lot of filler ultra rares you know that don't provide too much value but secret rares are where it's at with this set we went over the high end right now very briefly qcsrs yes they look beautiful a lot of good value you know and things of that nature but the true value of the set in my opinion is strictly secret rares yes so it'll be a couple of qcsrs maybe or a couple of ultra rares here and there which we're going to discuss today but mainly keep that i want you guys to take away from this video when you see battles of legend monsters revenge you can literally come down here and where you're going to make your investments is in the secret rares this is where the main value is at as we're going to be discussing in today's video so let's dig in guys so let's start off with let's see here ip mascarena just briefly checking these prices for the qcsrs 250 for this i mean the demand is going to be up there you know it went all the way up to 300s retracing down a bit personally i ordered one of these boxes to open on the channel so stay tuned it's gonna be exciting you know i don't usually tend to open sealed product but for the channel of course i'm gonna have funds with it hopefully i can pull some value and you guys can share you know that great time with me uh to see what i can pull but yeah ip 
obviously has a starlight uh, at a rack or over a rack man a thousand billies that's a lot you know so for a fourth of the price you can get a qcsr looks beautiful uh, might not be a bad long-term invest investment then lubellion a lot of people like this qcsr reprint just max rarity lubellion you know to make their uh, branded decks branded bestial decks look shiny look beautiful so i know a lot of people coming in at around 180s just under 200 billies i mean the supply is coming in but it's a qcsr hard to pull and uh it does look beautiful so that's a nice one then you have zeus as well as we discussed really looks beautiful look how that picture shines wow at about 140 billies can it hit under triple digits uh, tri triple digits or triple digits you know let's see let's see let's wait let's see if the supply comes back in um but i really do like this card as a qcsr then dad of course you can't go wrong edison format card such an iconic card getting its qcsr i'm happy for it um you do have the ghost rare and old T's and og secrets and just so many options but 68s not bad at all for daddy um as we can see here we mentioned queen tiara man tiara masu i think i got cheese madalche queen here fitty billies i like it i like it you know madalche madalche is always usually tend to hold value that's why i like you know a card like this and we're going to discuss the secret rare in this video yo i'm gonna go so hard on this card because i did it with um let me see an investment before i ever created this channel that went well at uh, under a billy to a billy was and uh let me see which one was it yeah it was angeli right here this card came out in battles of legend armageddon guys and i was buying like you no nah, even before this i like a billy you know under under billy and look this card is a solid four billies um almost fives so that's like four to five x easy and essentially i think that for this card which where is it i closed them <laughs> yeah i closed it but it's, it's around here we're gonna discuss it i think that's gonna be um similar in that sense so yeah all in all just discuss a couple of qcsrs you have nessie as well that's a good one volcanics are getting support soon so around 50 billies keep this one in mind and obviously for the adventure package engine you do have the ot's you know to compete with this so qcsrs ot's you know i prefer ot's and i have a place out of that but this number 92 really do like this one it looks beautiful guys honestly i won't lie so a great amount of good choices for the qcsrs when it comes to ultra rares again like i said we're just going to discuss a couple because most of these they're just fillers you know a quick fix i mean okay a sigma that's good for math max but you know that's a good reprint because it was getting high up there in price but you know who's playing math max is there a lot of people still playing the deck after the hit you know what i mean you have carrot already had a holographic i believe so you know dad already has a million low budget uh reprints a uh, holographic prints and uh ball drake one of the worst uh bestials you know uh, to my understanding so i mean you know there's a couple of cards here and there what does this do man let's see fusion summon one fusion monster from your actual deck using only zombie monsters you control if you're low, low point, if your life points are lower than your opponent you can also banish to one zombie monster from your hand okay so is, that's this is a zombie card i mean you know what a single print what a quarter eh, ultra rares you know really macrocosmo and and d fisher dimensional fisher these are the two main ultra rares that i would be focusing on and that i will be focusing on for the extreme long term at around quarters for a deal you know really 40 cents two quarters here and then for d fisher at around 30 cents i like these man hopefully they can go to quarters and below a pop i really like these for the long term and i'm gonna be digging in these are the only two mainly you know ultra rares that i'm gonna be focusing on the set that's it macro cosmo and the and d fisher literally i just think that th this is great value for the long term definitely over billy cards and you just never know with macro at three i believe so now you know what i mean um you know people are gonna always need their cop copies it recently got a common reprint in the speed duel box but yo i really really like this one for the long term because the secrets max rarity hard to get this clean cut fresh off the press ultra rare just like the channel looks just beautiful mint same for d fisher these are the two main recommendations that i would make from the ultra rare section of course other than that you do have the spirits you know the the aratama and uh sakitama really like these reprints as max rarity versions um of this card 
And for the long term, I think this is going to age well. You know, the main two are the main two. But, you know, if you want a couple of other ultras that you just want to expose yourself to, I really do like, you know, these cards as reprints, those ultras. And then the last ultra volcanic shell. Again, you know, let's check all the versions. But volcanics are getting support, you know, soon. So at under quarters, I like this card. Um, you know, as you can see here, you had rares, commons, commons, you know, a DTs and a super here. So in an ultimate, but the higher end is the higher end. But from the lower end, most of them weren't, they just were not holographic. You know what I mean? And this one, I think this is a DT, but um, like a normal card, a non-holographic card. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, um, it doesn't shine. It doesn't, you know what I mean? But the ultra rares here, as we can see for these prices, I really do like it. Um, I really do like this penny stong, honestly, and uh, I would very much focus on at least getting some exposure to the card before uh, Volcanics uh, come out. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's it. You see, didn't really talk about many ultra rares because I was skimming through and I'm like, where's the ultra rare value here? So many cards that they could have reprinted ultra rare that need reprints and things of that nature. And I'm really disappointed with the ultra rare section of this set. Just a lot of fillers most of them were fillers maybe there's three or four as we discussed you know ultra rares to get and that's it but oh well i can't get i can't complain with the secret rare section because that one is truly valuable a lot of value there but before we get to it guys don't forget link in the description down below to our link tree you know I, I, these podcast guys you know wow they're amazing the semi-limited podcast boys you know haver and recently went on msk's channel and you know had a good time he has great questions there you know and some even personal and we had a great time if you're in a commute bored at work whatever you can check those out you know what i mean and then there's the socials don't forget about those keep that in mind and just wanted to mention the podcast guys i've been working hard in the lab i plan to release my first episode very very soon hopefully before the end of this month still working hard at it but uh, you know i'll keep you guys informed and don't forget to subscribe it really does help out the channel click that bell to stay tuned for live streams giveaways podcast episodes and all that good stuff you know to our fresh off the press content and destroy that like button as it really does help out the channel with the algorithm and remember that none of this is official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only now we move on to the best part man honestly i even thought about like splitting the video you know and like just focusing on the secret rears like on a separate video but i'm like let me just do a full set overview even if it goes long you know what i mean because there's so many good secrets here like it's not even fair like it's just I i'm i'm pretty surprised again ultra rare they're slacking qcsrs there's some good picks but they're up there in price so the main focus of the set are the secret rares just so much great long-term value here that i'm seeing right now i'm literally picking and i'm drooling to let these prices go down so many great stonks that i see and two to three weeks from now i'm gonna make an exclusive penny stonk video from this set after you know the hype dies down prices settle in two three weeks a month later we're gonna come and that's when yo those prices are gonna most likely be juicy but on release let's discuss these prices we have sky striker ace azalea as elite man guys sky strikers a dark you know extra deck monster it's just man they continue to get support not just via the ban list with the releases of engage and uh, multi row i think it was um and now you also have uh support via th this new link monster guys so again as you can see the clear v-shaped recovery it went all the way down to 10 billies a pop and as you can see here there are a couple of deals but really it's a 20 billy card guys 22 listings only the sky striker demand is unreal guys you have the clear v shape up a hundred percent off the lows a hundred percent off the lows 2x already wow who would have thought this would have been the most expensive secret when you have so many great staples and iconic you know meta cards and things of that nature so that was pretty surprising i won't lie because this card was down here you know below duality and it just spiked up to become the first you know a uh, card on this list the most valuable and it's pretty impressive you know at 20 billies i mean honestly i would wait you know maybe for that second leg down maybe a w-shaped recovery where you would buy the second low you know before the eventual spike that's what i would be doing right now if you would ask me but 
then again, this is not official financial advice, guys. And uh, let's move on to duality. I love this card. I love the contrast. I really love when in Yu-Gi-Oh! you have that contrast, maybe between blue and red, light and dark, you know, and things of that nature. I really, really enjoy these cards. Quick play, very broken card, duality. Again, single print just came out, brand new, fresh off the press card. You know, and uh, if you clean this up, janitor style under 100 listings. You know what I mean? You do have a couple of wallet chinas here. But again, the card just came out. That's to be expected. And it's a 10 billy card. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it. Can it go down to fives so we can get our place at? Maybe. Who knows? Let's see the supply versus demand equation, how it pans out in the next couple of days. Then we have Rite of Aramis here. Really, really like this card. Obviously, is a mainstay in the adventure package engine as we can see wow another one that used to be 10 billies you see that v-shaped recovery to 16 here with a couple of deals and then uh you have a wall there of seven at 18s but really it's almost a 19 billy card when it gets down here to the walls of china as you can see 38 listings only and if um <clears throat> excuse me if we clean this up uh janitor style we do see that we have only 29 listings only 29 only three pages guys so this secret rare you know it's not as easy to get as maybe we would have thought you know what i mean and all in all now you have a qcsr you have a secret rare you have the og ultras why doesn't it man, I, man these people let's see it right here let's see let's see there we go we got four copies access to this card we have a cr we have a qcsr and then we have the secret and then we have the og ultras honestly yo these secrets look beautiful lovely fresh off the press mint clean cut i would go for these if i'm playing the engine for myself because i feel like i'm getting the best value or bang for my buck then we move on to zeus wow what a card divine arsenal double a Zeus, the sky th thunder as we can see here you know it might be uh reaching a low here at around 11 billies you know honestly i don't have access to this card so i think i'm gonna I'm come in man let me set this to the side i think i'm gonna come in i think your boy jay is gonna buy his one copy because your boy jay needs access to, to zeus you know i don't want this card um and i always keep things transparent you know what i mean i don't want this card um you know to become 15s 20s and v shape recover like duality um was it duality or which one it was it was um azalea and uh, which one and aramis here yeah the, the two that that we just discussed i don't want this no man need to come in of course you have massive walls here you know of hundreds of copies by none other than gamer's choice but only 35 listings you know and i might be buying too soon you know this card might go down to who knows five billies down 50 percent um, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take again for my one copy just to get access to the card, to be able to play the card. You know, as an investment, no, nah, I'm not getting more than one yet. I'm going to give it a couple of weeks, at least probably a month. Then we come back and dig into those prices. If a V shape recovered, then that might be a great time to still get it compared to the future value, you know. But I'm going to gain some exposure. Why? Because this card looks beautiful. As the OG Secret, the Starlight, the QCSR, you know, the OT. Uh, the ultra and all that good stuff but wow guys we told you guys to sell this card that's crazy man we called it and uh look these are 12s yo the ultras are like the secrets excuse me guys something's got to give either the ultras keep dumping or the secrets pump away from the ultras price you know um because it's a heavily demanded card guys we were telling you guys 25s 30s sell this card it's getting reprinted that's crazy Yo, and look at that dump. New all-time lows. That is insane, man. We called this one. We did. We did. Hopefully, if you, if you guys had any extra copies, you guys listened. Really like Zeus. Really like this as an investment. We just need to give it a little bit of time. Then we have Assault Synchron from Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge, obviously. A level 2 machine tuner. Wow. Single print just came out fresh off the press. Um, And as we can see here, it just continues to dump below 10 billies, 131 listings. The demand is there, though. And again, we're getting synchro support very, very soon with Dune's release, Dune, uh, Duelist Nexus. It's just around the corner, guys. It's a card that, you know, again, works well with synchro decks and that, you know, the synchro support is just coming out so the demand is going to most likely be coming in. You want to have access to this card. Only has a single print secret and the QCSR. 
So honestly, can we get five billies? Yeah, these walls of China push the price down, that sell pressure. The five billies, I'd love to get at least a copy, most likely at least a playset, you know, because I really like the potential of this card. Then you have Engage, guys. This is one of my favorite cards. Like, honestly, like this specific version. I, I'm not really like a Sky Striker, the guy. I've honestly never played the deck. But this alternate R art, just the way it is, like, look at that. The way the hair is like spiked, you know, towards the upside and just how it shines, the red contrasting with the yellow. And like, yo, I really, really like this alternate art card. I can't wait, man. You know what I mean? I can't wait to get it. You do have a, a deal here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but really. It's an over a six billy cards card under 100 listing uh, listings there. And as we can see, the demand is coming in already. I'm going to wait, man. I'm going to wait a couple of weeks. Hopefully, we can get this down to fives, fours, threes, you know, maybe a uh, play set for 10 billies. Ooh, man, I like me some engage. Love this alternate art. I think Konami did an amazing job for it. Glad the QCSR is the same artwork as well. Really like this. And uh, this is a card that I want to stack. You know, I want to put away. Um, and keep a playset for myself and then make the solid investment as well. You can't go wrong with Engage. Alternate art looks beautiful. Then we have Foxy Tune. Guys, remember, this card was super expensive before this reprint. Um, this is another card that we were telling you guys to sell. We said, guys, 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 35 billion. And I feel like going back to the video and just putting myself there talking, bro. Should have done it for this one, man. Maybe down the line in the next review. What guys who were saying, sell this, man. Like, don't, don't, don't hold these bags. Like, please. Like, they literally announced that it's getting reprinted and this card was still up here, like over 20s. And now it's a seven billy card. Seven, eight billy card. That's just sad. Down three, four X. Man, hopefully you guys weren't those ca catching bags like these. We all catch bags out here. You know, sometimes we make investments. They don't pan out. Things of that nature. It happens. You know, no one's perfect. But one thing is to make an investment, speculating, having a vision towards what could happen. And another thing is like when they announce a reprint and like people still hold these bags. Like that's just unacceptable, man, honestly, in my humble opinion. But it is what it is. So seeing this, I like this one. You know, the secret rare. You know, I, I under five billies already. Love it, man. Love it. Again, this is a deck specific card. But when you see that it was 35 for so the OGs, this is max rarity. Love it, man. Definitely going to uh, work on my R09 at the bare minimum. Really like this card. But yeah, we need it to be a couple of shekels, not almost five billies. So I'll be patient. Then you have Water Ent Enchantress of the Temple. You have an OT, the OG Ultra, now a secret. Really like the secret, you know, because the adventure package. The, the adventure engine is very, very good. Um, it cycles in and out of the meta. And uh, yeah, well, I don't think this engine has been hit at all. You know, it's just been cycling out as of late. But I really like this, man. I really like this card. Budget secrets at under fours for a couple of deals here. Four billies. I like it. I like it. I want to see this at around 250, three, 10 billies for a place that maybe a little under four copies for 10 billies. I would like this, man. Definitely a card that I want to keep in mind. Then Labyrinth. Wow welcome labyrinth got a reprint with the secret rare max uh, mid max rarity and the qc sr really like this one as well as we can see here this secret rare looks clean cut fresh off the press man wow it looks lovely at under four billies we can see here uh this card you even have a deal here under 100 listings i like this card this card used to be 16s you know worth 16s as of late another one that we said guys is coming out in battles of legend Tell this don't be holding those 16 billy bags we literally discussed this like a couple of weeks ago like literally the card was here where is it, it was right here see this consolidation here look it goes from april <clears throat> excuse me guys to like end of may like a month and a half we were talking about the card guys it's getting reprinted to know that this card was 46 billies insanity insanity he's up 50 billies a pop insane now we have a secret rare really like it at a couple of shekels and this one that i'm gonna be keeping my eye out for because labyrinth is high in demand right now and konami still needs to reprint these cards in the tin so i don't see them getting hit anytime soon i really do like this secret rare but yeah we were calling right here this consolidation yo it makes me like want to go back i made a video about cards to sell and things man yo all these cards just guys don't hold these bags 
And hopefully you guys listen. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to be holding a car that is worth 16 billies down to like, what? Three, that's, well, that's a deal there. But like four or five dollars, that's like down three, 3.5 X, bro. Yeah, that hurts. IP Masquerade. Wow. What a great reprint. Love this reprint, guys. Really love this card at around three billies. This is a long term steal. Why? Because all copies of, of IP were what? Look, let's check here. Before this recent reprint, this card was, I always go with the Prismatic because that's one of my favorites. And I still want to get this, this version. This card was 25 billies, guys. And now, yo, that is insane. This card was 25 billies and now it's like eight to nines. Let's say tens, for example. That is 2.5x down. Yo, and most copies were like 20s to 25s. And now you have a, a three billy version. Count me in, bro. Count me in. Look. A deal here 10 billies gets your play set that's just too good honestly that is just too good it's a card that i can't wait the next couple of weeks to be twos or ones yo you imagine ips at a billy yo love love these reprints i love to see reprints like these of course i would have preferred the alternate art konami select on that one especially for this secret rare you know what i mean um but hey this is what we get we got to play you know with the hand we're dealt and i'm definitely digging in into i you know p and getting a bunch of those cards man you know what i mean so we have super polymerization another secret rare reprint i don't know why like honestly i would i would have just put it in the ultra rare slot <clears throat> excuse me guys <clears throat> at this point you know but hey secret rare gonna make it hard to get or harder to get than if it was an ultra and three billies for super polys yo of course the card just recently got a common reprint and another secret rare in the speed duel one and honestly i wanted the speed duel one because of just how great it looks but i'm not paying 3x above market price just because it's a speed duel secret i'm gonna come for this one so, yo you can buy one speed duel one or a play set of this like it's obvious sometimes you know what i mean of course they look different the quality is different but nah it's not worth 3x above market price when they're the same rarity nah man i really really do like this card at three billies 58 listings definitely a great stonk to keep in mind then you have arm ninos wow single print you know hero card it, it looks beautiful look at that card just look at that the, like the thunder in the back and the artwork yo i need i need to get me a stack so hard of this card that my wallet won't survive until the next like it just won't two billies go down to a billy man for me please i know the hero demand is gonna be crazy the hero community doesn't play around with their cards but come on now come on man a billy arm neos Ooh -wee. man i really really like this set man these secrets just keep getting better look look at all these secret rares we're got terraforming love this secret of course it does have um the legendary uh, kaiba collection secret but yo like seeing both of them let's take a look honestly i haven't seen this one in person yet but i like this one more i think look this one's darker guys i don't i had this one because it was min max secret looked nice by the way, this card is what? Five Billy still holding some value at least. But look at the difference. Wow. When you see that, you can clearly see the, the lighting and the background, the planets and everything. Like, this is terrible. You know, this, see, of course, is the one that we had. But wow, look at that contrast. And with this in mind, that's why I'm coming in and getting these at Billy's and some. Man, of course, it's still a card that is at one. So people are going to come in and get you know some people are gonna invest and get some play sets and a little bit over but you're gonna see a lot of one-ups you know because uh <clears throat> excuse me because terraforming is at one you know what i mean so as we can see here um card just came out and it's already a billy at 28 oh man this is gonna go under a billy come on man cards like these stonks like these get me super excited because this is definitely gonna be worth worth a couple of shekels down the line you imagine terraforming comes back to like two or three that's something that no one's talking about. And honestly, I don't see it happening anytime soon. But you imagine, yo, that'd be crazy. Like this card was spiked like crazy. Really like this secret rare from the set. Then you have Danger Nessie. This is a card that the OG secrets were pushing like over 40 billies not too long ago when they were hyped with tier laments. And now to see, you know, you have an ultra gold, but these secrets look nice. You know what I mean? Look at that. Look, when you go back a year, this card was 60 billies for the first ad og 60s and now they're down to what let me see first ad here to 13s insane there's a card that nah man i wouldn't have i would just honestly go for these look they look bright looks brighter 
it's fresh off the press it looks beautiful and for billy's man ooh, man i really really do like this one man i really really do like danger nessie then shadows light really like this card as well spell card you know it works well with uh, chaos monsters lights and darks and things of that nature as we can see here for billy's not bad pause coming in with a couple of deals today do have a couple of walls of china is always their game is choice almost under 100 listings um but card just came out really like it for the long term single print secret really like the artwork even though it seems simple you know i really like it just the contrast with the lighting in the middle and the darkness around it really really do like the secret rare then you have dark magician the knight of dragon magic an iconic dm card single print just came out fresh off the press and i believe this card is going to age well i believe so of course supply is going to be coming in in the next couple of days to weeks to months but you know that's going to present a very good opportunity to come in and get this under a billy as a gray stonk to keep in mind heading into the future because it's dm man look at that love the artwork i can't wait to get my hands on this card just so many great stonks inside this set number 92 is another one look let's analyze i love stonks like these where you analyze okay what other versions existed before this you had an ultra rare maybe like a ghost rare or something if you if you write the name let's see in an ot i think it was let's see let's see ghost and ot uh yeah that's the yeah right here ultimate rare ghost rare now you have the qcsr and you had an ultra rare right and now you have these secrets wow at billy's this is a deal man this is a deal why because if you see here real quick if you could check how much were the ultras before this reprint guys the ultra was 40 billies a year ago 40s 40 billies and right now there's still 30s guys that's insane just holding that strong value that demand does not want to go down in price insane just insane when i see things like these only three pages that mean that means this card is non-existent essentially you know in the market so once these dry up what do you think is going to happen i really really do like the stonk of course you know what i mean it's you know a walls of china card just came out supply is here but everyone's going to forget about this card and when they forget we remember you know we're going to keep this card in mind we're going to watch this card like a hawk is a number card so collectors are going to go for it as well and the secret rare looks beautiful another hero card elemental hero flame wingman infernal rage single print love the artwork secret rare this is another hero stonk so we get two of these in this set love it at billy's same deal yo gamer's choice always there the constant with that wallet china but 120 listings i love it man i honestly love this card this is another one that i just want to get stacks and forget about it you know because who knows when konami's gonna reprint this and they're already coming out as secret rares they look beautiful they look lovely elemental hero flame wingman infernal rage keep this one in your radar then ibli really really like the secret rare reprint um and now under billy's i like this man a couple of deals here really really like this card because it had the og secrets that were worth money the ultra rare only two prints and now you have that third print when you see the ultra still at eight dollar market price then this one most likely down the line when supply dries up is going to catch these two's market price or even surpass the ultra as that you know a mid max per se where it has the same rarity but first set ogs and always be the preference but really really do like this stonk this is an amazing stonk from the set dark hole is another one it has secret rares already so keep that in mind but it doesn't hurt it's an iconic card card as at under billy you can get access to a secret rare dark hole those look beautiful then you have book of eclipse a card that was rampant in the meta not too long ago you know with cash tiras and all that good stuff uh, as we see there you know 68 69 cents a couple of deals here really like this one man really like this oh you have here at, at two quarters this is good man honestly this is good you know secret rare i believe is in max rarity i know we have the ultras the rares and you know accessible versions yeah but this is max rarity guys max rarity book of eclipse really like this one for the long term just a great card to get access to and at these prices you just can't beat it and you have golden rule a card that works very well for crystal beast bio spell a lot of people were hyped about this shout out in the comment section i know one of you guys mentioned that you were excited that you play crystal beast and that this card was coming out again single print secret rare card looks beautiful and uh yeah golden rule as we can see here 
so you have uh 60 cents then quickly goes up to a billy and that's where it's at man the demand is coming in and that's great to see cards like these support for old archetypes with cards that help them out then you have draco berserker of the 10 year this card was up there in price got another secret rare reprint so again this is a card that has an ultra rare a prismatic secret and now a secret these were all 15s these two beforehand and now you know this is at under billy that was a great reprint honestly um and you know i'm gonna focus on the prismatics you know what i mean again these were 17s a couple of months ago and now they're down at threes i love to see that because i really like how this cards look in its prismatic uh secret rarity and this one again secrets you have a deal here but what a couple of quarters really like this card man i won't lie then you have madalche queen tiaramus man tiaramus man always happens guys always happens it is what it is hopefully you guys have fun with it this is a solid investment man honestly in my opinion i really do like this one i really really do at uh, you know 35 cents and 39 you know here and that and the other under two quarters under 100 listings i like this card this card used to be worth money before this reprint all versions of the card look even a common that's when i see that a common was worth 10 billies tell me in 10 billy common and then we get a secret rare a reprint let's see what rarity is so secret rare would be max rarity it does have an ultimate so a mid max um yeah count me in count me in yeah yeah a, a, a couple of quarters yeah i'm gonna get a stack of these guys you know i'm just letting you guys know what i'm gonna be doing this card is too cheap right now of course it just came out but then after this dries up madolce they have a big community a lot of people love you know this archetype and uh i don't see it going anywhere so you know definitely a solid pick solid stock solid investment another photon card here photon jumper really like this one honestly you know at, at a couple uh, quarters and things of that nature i'm gonna be getting these because it's single print level four warrior photon card i like it for the long term then you have dante traveler of the burning abyss you had the first at og secrets but these at around quarters they're gonna be great you know at least they got a place at maybe an r09 because dante is dante you know what i mean it's just a beautiful relevant card in the past an iconic card for the uh format uh, what was that uh these cards where uh, geez ba ba yeah burning abyss there you go um so definitely a great stonk for the long term and then junk archer one of my favorite stonks of the set left the card for last why because they only had two prints these cards were 20 to 25 billies just a couple of weeks ago reprint announced boom then we have a what a quarter card wow quarter secret rare that by the way it's a max rarity yeah you have super ultra now secret so when you can get the secret you know for quarters and things of like that count me in man just count me in please quarter junk archers an iconic synchro monster that i believe it works in edison as well that people in edison use it as man 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 oh man what a beautiful beautiful reprint guys hopefully you enjoyed this set review it was a, a little long in the tooth as they say you know what i mean but i prefer hey i wanted to cover this set review you guys were requesting it we went over all the cards that i'm gonna be personally looking at in the next couple of weeks a month or two and i'm gonna make be making solid hard investments into these cards that's just what i'm gonna be doing hopefully you can take and use that information to your advantage hopefully you guys found value in today's video i really enjoyed making this video because i love doing set reviews just making sure you guys are aware of the latest and greatest maybe stonks and things of that nature you know just providing that value to the channel that way if you made it this far out into the video you guys are the straight mvps don't forget to leave a comment down below as it really does help out the algorithm but i answer each and every single comment guys so let's have fun with the discussion the back and forth and things of that nature tomorrow i'm gonna be releasing a video on cards that i'm dumping into the market due to the reprints here in battles of legend maybe or the tins coming down the line or the legendary collection things of that nature so stay tuned for tomorrow's video you know great content coming down the line podcast is coming soon stay tuned for that as well a lot of things working back in the lab for the channel you know a lot going on so hopefully you guys appreciate the grind and the hustle guys thank you so much for your time for your support and for your attention hope you guys have a good one